Hello everyone. Welcome to today's class. Today's topic is addition and subtraction of length. Today we are learning to add length, subtract length, solve given problems. Example 1. A girl wants to make decorations with ribbons. She bought 5 meters 22 centimeters of red ribbon and 3 meters 89 centimeters of blue ribbon. Let's find out the total length of the ribbons. What are we supposed to do here? We are to find the total length of the ribbons. The word total means we should do what? Add. So we're going to add 5 meters 22 centimeters and 3 meters 89 centimeters. 2 plus 9 is what? 11. So you write what? 1 and then you carry what? 110. 110 plus 2 tens is 3 tens. 3 tens plus 8 tens is 11 tens. So everything gives what? 111 centimeters. 111 centimeters is the same as 100 centimeters plus 11 centimeters so we leave 11 centimeters then we carry 100 centimeters when it gets to the meters place it becomes what one meter because 100 centimeters is what one meter 1 meter plus 5 meters is 6 meters. 6 meters plus 3 meters is what? 9 meters. So the total length of the ribbons is 9 meters 11 centimeters. Example 2. The flag pole outside the school is 7 meters 58 centimeters tall. But the school decided to make a taller pole that is 9 meters 24 centimeters tall. How much taller is the new flag pole? What do we need to do here? Of course, we need to subtract the height of the old pole from the new pole that is 9 meters 24 centimeters minus 7 meters 58 centimeters if you look at the centimeters place you will observe that 58 centimeters is larger than 24 centimeters. So you cannot remove 58 centimeters from 24 centimeters. So what do you need to do here? You have to go to the meters place and borrow. You borrow 1 meter from 9 meters. If you borrow one meter from nine meters, then it will remain what? Eight meters. If you bring the one meters to centimeters place, it becomes what? 100 centimeters. Then you add 100 centimeters plus 24 centimeters. And that is 124 
centimeters. You can see that this is larger than 58 centimeters. Now you can remove 58 centimeters from 124 centimeters. If you remove 58 centimeters from 124 centimeters, you will get what? 66 centimeters. You are left with 8 meters. Remove 7 meters from 8 meters, you get 1 meter. I hope that's clear. So if you borrow from meters to centimeters, you have to bear in mind that anytime you borrow one meter, it will be 100 centimeters when it gets to the centimeters place because 100 centimeters is what? One meter. Example three. A group of students are going on excursion on a distance of four kilometers, 369 meters to two places. After a distance of two kilometers, 798 meters, they reached their first destination. How much distance do they have to cover before reaching their second destination? What do we need to do? Of course, we need to remove the distance they have covered, which is 2 kilometers, 798 meters from the total distance, which is 4 kilometers, 369 meters. If you look at this very well, you will realize that 798 meters is larger than 369 meters. So what do you think you are going to do? You will go to the kilometers place and borrow. You will borrow one kilometer from four kilometers. And then you'll be left with three kilometers. If you bring the one kilometer to meters place, it will be what? 1,000 meters. Why is it 1,000 meters? Because one kilometer equals 1,000 meters. So you add 1,000 meters plus 369 meters. So that gives 1,369 meters. Then you will remove 798 meters. If you remove 798 meters from 1,369 meters, you'll be left with what? 571 meters. Then in the kilometers place, you're left with what? 3 kilometers minus 2 kilometers. So if you remove two kilometers from three kilometers, you will get what? One kilometer. I hope you understand this. So anytime you borrow from kilometers place to meters place, then the one kilometer will change to 1,000 meters. I wish you all the best as you do your practice. Bye.